Hi, I'm Eric Dodds from Ruddersack, and we're going to do a one-minute walkthrough of Warehouse Actions, which is now available in our free tier. This particular example comes from a customer who has a team of people packing items that their customers buy via e-commerce. They want to pack those items in less than 15 minutes. When they don't, they want to notify managers. They had a lot of this data trapped in their warehouse and difficulty getting it out to their downstream tools. Let's show you how they solved it. They use Snowflake and they have tables that contain the data about packing. They're in an ops table. Their internal ops table has all of the information about packing, orders, etc. And they created a derive table called warnings on top of that. You can see here it contains information about the order, the person packing, and of course the pack start and end times which produce a total pack time. All of the rows in this table have total pack times above 15 minutes and they want to send that data to Slack to notify managers. If you take a look in the Slack channel, you can see that there are no messages. I'm going to choose Packer ID as the user ID because in this internal system, Packer ID is how we identify the person doing the packing. And I'm going to say every 30 minutes for the sync time, and we've set up a warehouse action source. We already have an internal alert Slack channel set up that I just showed you. We connect that, and then when I go and trigger a manual sync, you'll see that Ruddersack Warehouse Actions processes the rows and then sends a notification to Slack. You can see here that these two people have exceeded the threshold with a packing time of 17. You can do all sorts of interesting things with Warehouse Actions. Go ahead and sign up at ruddersack.com to try it for yourself.